Jiva Fertility Centers is running free fertility camps at all our centers in Banjara Hills, Sanatnagar, Kompalli and Manikonda on all Saturdays this coming month of July. Please come down, evaluate yourself, understand your infertility and your chances of fertility with the treatment options available. There are heavy discounts given on IVF procedures. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When we do your hormone evaluations, you must have observed that the most important hormone that we talk about is FSH and also AMH. So these are the two hormones that we are paying close attention to, in addition to estrogen and progesterone and everything. But FSH and AMH are important hormones in terms of your ovarian reserve. Now when FSH is evaluated and it's too high, in our terms if it is more than 10, it means that your ovaries are working over time. As in that FSH which acts on ovaries has to be very high for your egg to ovulate. So a high FSH is not good and AMH if it is low, lower than 1, it means that your ovarian reserve is very low. So these two hormones give us a rough estimation of the quality and quantity of the eggs that are growing inside your ovaries. Now can FSH and AMH be improved if it is too high and uh, still under 30 or close to 30 and uh, your FSH is high, your AMH is low, what could be the reason? Well, it is called as premature ovarian failure. In a lot of women, we see that uh, this is occurring nowadays and uh, premature ovarian failure means that the number of eggs are reducing inside the ovary therefore the FSH is very high and the AMH is very low all the hormone evaluations are definitely correlated with the ultrasound because that gives us a clear picture we're able to see properly what's happening with the ovaries now when these hormones are erratic that is FSH is too high and AMH is too low it means that your ovarian reserve is diminishing it is coming down can it be improved well certain studies say they can some say they cannot some concoctions are still being tried but the fact remains that cannot be improved a rising fsh and falling amh means that the number of eggs inside the ovaries are reducing and because your uh, egg numbers are predetermined before birth these numbers once they are coming down they cannot be improved these numbers are already decided there may be millions of eggs that you have but every month lakhs of eggs are diminishing and this is a natural cycle by the time you reach menopause all your eggs are destroyed or used or are gone so this is what is happening in a natural cycle and a raised fsh and a lower amh means that time is running out and you need to act fast if you wish to get pregnant these cannot be improved but they can definitely be acted upon that is if it is too high or too low fsh and amh can still uh, be rectified by the use of proper hormones during treatment and you can still achieve pregnancy with your own eggs if you wish to understand more about high FSH and low AMH and your treatment options, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.